This morning we're going to begin doing a, f a flat design uh, um, that's going to uh, revolve around doing a cityscape, sort of a landscape with a couple of different city skylines. So uh, let's go to Pixabay and let's uh, just look up the word skyline and you want to find three different city skylines. So I'm looking through here and I see a few. You want to make sure you're getting one that's uh, less like this. It's, it shouldn't be from the top looking down and more like this, from far away looking to the side to where it's pretty flat. If it's not uh, precisely flat, that's okay, but when you draw the lines, you're gonna make sure that's sort of at a flat angle, because once again, this is flat design. So I'm gonna find two more of these things. Just download these and uh, get them as, as big as you can. If you um, get them, if you don't have a, an account with Pixabay, then you can't download the full resolution, but you can download the ones that are at least 1920 wide. So I'm gonna uh, do that because I'm gonna make my web large uh, logo here. So you notice this one is not quite flat, but I'm gonna make it flat whenever I when I when I design it here. So once again, web large. And we're gonna operate this in much the same way we did our um, low poly portrait, we're gonna have two different layers, one with the reference picture and then one with the actual art on top of it. So make sure you keep those separate. So I'm gonna make a new layer, drag in my first video, my first uh, picture rather, and resize it to fit inside my canvas. And obviously you can make it bigger than the canvas if you want to include some things and leave th some things out. You can make it smaller than the canvas if you wanna have like, say for instance, some negative space on the side, but it's up to you. But I'm gonna make this just, just, just as big as my canvas. With that done, I'm gonna lock this lower layer so I don't uh, move it on accident. And I'm gonna get my pen tool. And holding on the shift key is going to lock me into doing either horizontal lines or vertical lines. And I'm just gonna use this pen tool. Let me take the stroke, fill off and put the stroke on so I'm visible like red. So by just holding on the shift key, it's gonna lock you into doing just horizontal and vertical lines. And you can get as close as you'd like to this to see better. And obviously if there's a curved building or if there's something like this where you know you can maybe use some angles to create this sort of spine, you can use different angles. But I would limit those and just sort of try to keep yourself going with like just right angles to each other, either uh, straight up and down or straight side to side. So once again, whenever you use the pen tool, you wanna to make sure that you're not clicking and dragging to make a curve. And if ever at any point you want to uh, move the uh, points you make, it's going to uh, it be easy just to hold on the control button and you can um, the click and drag the different, different points here. Obviously what, what details you choose to include are up to you, but I'm just gonna go across this uh, skyline and this is this video is sped up slightly. And once you reach the edge, you want to kind of extend down below the artboard. So maybe not necessarily below the picture, but at least below the artboard, and then connect it up. All right, so with that done, um, we have our outline here. We wanna make sure we connect this all the way to the, to the beginning here. The idea being that we um, have this extending all the way past our artboard. Our artboard, the little black line here we've got going on. If I were to make my um, opening kind of like my, my bottom layer invisible, um, I'm gonna go back here to my properties, and I'm gonna press um, my stroke away, and I'll fill this with, say for instance, like a, a lighter gray color here. And I'll just keep this gray for now and um, we'll come back to it in a second here. So I'm gonna have this lowered down uh, to where it's sort of low on the screen here. And I'm gonna uh, go ahead and make this invisible for just for, for a moment here. And uh, I'm gonna, well, actually, I'll keep it visible for just a second here. Uh, and I'm gonna make a new layer below this one. And then with this layer um, selected, I'll drag in uh, my new, um, my, my second city here. So I'll drag this in. And I'll make this as big as I can. Um, I'll, uh, I'll press cancel here. I'm going to lock this. I'll make a new layer, once again, below layer one. In fact, I could call this layer here city one. And this one right here, city two. Let's save this real quick. And uh, once again, I'll just, uh, I'll make this invisible here. And uh, I'll uh, go ahead and just get my pen tool and start tracing here. And, and I'm going to, once again, get my fill to be empty and my stroke to be red and I'll just go through here okay so once again I'm going to make this invisible here 
And I'll bring together, I'll bring up this is indivisibility, and I'll make this one down here um, a little more visible. I'll take the stroke off here and put the fill on to something maybe a little bit darker. Have it get darker as we go into the background here. And uh, all right, so let's repeat that process one last time. And we'll drag in our third picture here. Actually, once again, let me make sure I've, I've got a new layer below everything else. And uh, I'll drag in this image here. Okay. So I'll remove this layer in the background here and I'll bring this one into visibility by taking away the stroke and filling it with an even darker shade of black. So let's take a look at what we got so far. Okay. All right, so we've got these uh, four, these three layers of city here kind of going on. Now, um, depending on what you might like, you might like to, say for instance, switch the layers around, like maybe put like layer, uh, uh, this third city here, maybe put this second city in front of the other one. You can switch that around and see how that looks. And you can kind of grab this guy and move him up a little bit and scoot this one down some if you'd like and see how that looks. That might look like something you might want to do. Um, you can um, you can just sort of mix and match which ones you think look best uh, on the top and on the bottom. And then um, the last thing we'll do is we'll add a little sky here uh, and we'll uh, we'll put a couple things in there. So if we want to add like a, maybe maybe we'll do like a sunny sky. Uh, so we, we've done this before. Let's go ahead and make a new uh, layer here and let's make a gradient. I'll just um, create a rectangle here on this uh, back layer. And uh, first, though, what I can, what I, what I might want to do is I might want to go back over here to um, this website, color.adobe.com, and find myself a um, like a color palette here. I'll go to explore, and I'll find some colors that I like that, that I think look good in you know next to each other. Like um, I could look up the the word um, uh, city, right? And um, we can kind of see different colors that we get provided for us. So this is kind of cool looking. So I just copy this. And I'll go over here to, say for instance, city layer six, and hit this little circle there, and I'll just click on the fill and go to my color picker, little color palette, and just control V, paste that in there. And I'll do that for the rest of these here. So maybe. And uh, I'm, I'm going to make two rectangles kind of hanging out here. And uh, one of these, I'm going to control V. And another one, I'm going to go over here. Copy this, and then uh, Control V. Now, what's cool about this is I can click on these guys, and I can go over here to my fill and click on my swatches, and this little button here, this little paper with a with a folded up corner, call it new swatch, and just press OK, and there it's hanging out there. I'll do the same thing with this one right here. I'll go to fill, and I'll go over here, and I'll just uh, you know make a new new swatch, and so I've got these two swatches here. So now what I can do is I can actually create a new rectangle, kind of hanging out maybe down here at the very bottom, and uh, I'll just make a new rectangle that goes across everything on this new layer here, and uh, I'll I'll do a um, a gradient, which the default gradient is black and white, and go to my gradient options, I click on this guy here, and I have to go over here to my swatches and actually choose this color here. And over here, uh, choose the other color that I sampled, right? So now we got this gradient kind of going on. And I can change this over to like 90 degrees uh, or something like that. And I can kind of move the uh, the path, like the, the way it kind of goes um, to be bigger or smaller and stuff, right? So say, for instance, like end earlier. So have it, have it get darker faster. Um, or if you wanted to, for instance, uh, just go over here to your move tool and just kind of like shrink this up. Obviously, you don't want it to go past like your your city skyline or whatever, but this is kind of cool. And then, um, lastly, we can put a little, you know, and then again, depending on what kind of color palette you use, this one worked out for me. I think this looks kind of cool. Um, you can go over here to your circle, and we can do what we did before. We can go to our ellipse tool, just sort of like hold down shift and make a circle. I'll turn it white, and um, we can, or maybe yellow, and we can just uh, kind of. Alt drag this over here and make this really teeny, and then just select these two and go to Object Blend and Make, and then we can go to Object Blend Options and say for instance Specified Steps and do say like five or so, 
Okay, that's good. And uh, we'll make everything opacity like, you know, 20%. And uh, what we can do here is go to Object, Expand, and then Object, Ungroup, and then, uh, oh, once again, 21, 20% or so, and just bunch these up together. And so now, when we drag this down, we've got ourselves a little sunset kind of hanging out there. So um, at the end of the day, uh, it's kind of up to you, you know, what you do um, in terms of the color. But uh, I think this is, looks kind of neat. So I'll just leave it here. I'll call this done. And I'll submit this as a JPEG by going to File, Export for Screens. And make sure you save it as like a flat design city. And it's pretty minimalist, but it looks kind of cool. So when we open this up, it should have everything outside of the artboard. Pretty cool. I like it. All right. Well, very cool. Can't wait to see you guys produce. See you in class.